So at the level of minister, you don't have to be a specialist in that particular department. You are supposed to put together all the instruments required, all the human resource component, all the systems that are required, then you allow the machine to roll. Uh -huh. That is basically leadership. Uh, how many are athletes? How many are officials? <laughs> Invariably, the officials are more. And some of them are not even direct officials. They are relatives or hang around so officials. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things we must rethink. Mm -hmm. Is that I'm praying this time mm -hmm. the president will reflect mm -hmm. on what are the issues that failed him. Mm -hmm. Because he has admitted there was failure. What are the issues that failed him mm -hmm. within two years? Ladies and gentlemen, all you watching us from different parts across the globe, welcome to The Conversation. This is Richard Mwenja exclusive. My name is Richard Mwenja. Glad to be back. And indeed, it is a distinct privilege to have your company with us. As I always say, this is the only point of call on matters, political and governance analysis, and you're just in time. With me today to bring the day's conversation home is none other than former minister, this renowned think tank, Kipruto Arab Kiroa. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Richard. You've uh -huh. been away for the last two weeks? For the last two weeks? Yeah. I'm a son of the village. I'm a villager. Yeah, a villager, just yeah. like Rick G. <laughs> like the second in command. Yeah. A man who is highly under siege right now. Well, I don't think he's under siege. Aha. Uh -huh. We are getting to that in a few. Yeah. But how have you been doing, sir? Very well. Mm -hmm. uh, despite the fact that Nairobi is very cold, mm -hmm. I've just been around. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Traveling out of town and back, mm -hmm. as the case may be. Mm -hmm. But I will be going to Kitale this week. Oh. Yeah. You are from the home of champions. And this is how we are seeing uh, in the Pahi Olympics. This small performance from the Olympics team representing Kenya. Yeah. Some of our children now running for other countries. I mean, and they went out citing frustrations within the athletics uh, yeah. environment in Kenya. What does that make you feel as a son of Rift Valley where these champions are born and bred from? Well, uh, I happen to come from Rift Valley, but I'm also a Kenyan. Mm -hmm in the sense that uh, I find it always very inspiring when our flag is flown mm -hmm. and the, our national anthem is sung, whenever our athletes win internationally. Mm -hmm. But it's also at the same time I get saddened by the fact that we lose a lot of talent, partly because we do not invest in nurturing the talents from the beginning mm -hmm. and identifying the right people for the right uh, kind of competition. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've always said uh, for short races, Kenya can produce mm -hmm. very good runners and uh, evidence is abound mm -hmm. that you, you see there are some of Kenyans from Western Kenya mm -hmm. and even all the way to Nyanza. Uh, then the main part of the Rift Valley can produce long distance runners. Mm -hmm. So we need to invest at the nurturing stage and also we need to invest the full scale mm -hmm. in terms of even officials in terms of resources and also looking for some tax relief mm -hmm. for our athletes. Mm -hmm. I say so because here across in Ethiopia, for every gold medal you win, whether it's in the Olympics and uh, some of the medals that are associated with cash, mm -hmm. uh, the country gives certain concessionary loans mm -hmm. to those athletes to do a lot of work. Kananisa mm -hmm. Bekele, mm -hmm. As a building that he completed, I think, the other day, a very serious hotel in Addis Ababa, mm -hmm. uh, Haile uh, Gebre Selassie. Gebre Selassie. Mm -hmm. As I, I think three buildings in Addis Ababa, mm -hmm. uh, courtesy of the government of the day, extending some loan, they give you 70% of what you have won. Mm -hmm. No, not 70%. If you win 30 million, for example, they will give you 70 million mm -hmm. so that the component you have won is 30%. And they hold the interest rate. Mm -hmm. When you get the first client getting into the place, mm -hmm. then you start paying, repaying the loan. Mm -hmm. uh, he has, uh, I think, three in Atisababa. He has one in a place called Entoto. Mm -hmm. And he has uh, another hotel in Awasa, mm -hmm. which is like the, the akin to the Naivasha. Mm -hmm. It's actually the same belt. Mm -hmm. Awasa and Naivasha, they are on the same belt. Mm -hmm. These yellow trees, the trees with yellow stems, Acacia. Mm -hmm. It's the same belt all the way to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So th this is something that is not a lot of science. It just needs 
one or two billion shillings mm -hmm. and you have done that mm -hmm. and that becomes like pension for the athletes mm -hmm. you know many of them apart from the ones you know working at Kipchoge Kaino uh, Tergat Ezekiel Kemboi maybe yes Ezekiel Kemboi is still young mm -hmm. I don't know whether he has invested mm -hmm. he's actually Tergat Kipchoge Kaino mm -hmm. and there is I think Kiptanui Moses Kiptanui mm -hmm. and um, uh, Kipkemboi Ibrahim Kipkemboi mm -hmm. Hussein uh -huh. Uh, there is another one, um, uh, there's another one, I'm, I'm forgetting the name, mm -hmm. but you can see, not many of them. Then Wakina Tekla Jemabuai, she went then went to school. So she's been, I think, a lecturer at uh, Mo University. Oh, so sure. these are unique uh, people. You know, to be talented in one field mm -hmm. uh, means some other fields may be closed. Mm -hmm. So for somebody to be able to run against the wind and win, it means that's a talent that needs to be nurtured by all of us. Very well. So that worries me. <laughs> and also the officials at times, some of them, remember the um, Rio de Janeiro? Uh, Rio Olympics? Yeah, Rio Olympics. Uh -huh. Where some of the people were mistreated. Even some of the officials, when the race is on, they have gone shopping. <laughs> so so <laughs> you wonder what was the purpose? The running gear is missing in the wardrobe for yeah. the athletes. Yeah, for the athletes. Uh -huh. At the same time, if you are to look at the team, uh -huh. Uh, how many are athletes? How many are officials? <laughs> Invariably, the officials are more. And some of them are not even direct officials. They are relatives or hangarounds of officials. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things we must rethink. And there is nothing that can, can replace patriotism. Mm -hmm. It is important that we are patriotic. Mm -hmm. If you have a certain talent, mm -hmm. you nurture it. If you have a certain talent, we all nurture it. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we can build this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And under the stewardship of, of, of Kipruto Arapkiru as the sports minister, you mean in your tenure we'll see no <laughs> one hijacking the envoy that Kenya will be presenting to those Olympics, girlfriends, <laughs> family people, and all. Will that be, be, be the kind of thing coming from your leadership? Oh, you Should... will never be a minister. Uh -huh. For <laughs> <Yeah>. sports. <laughs> for sports or even for anything at all. Uh -huh. I'm happy <laughs> about the Kibaki One regime. Mm -hmm. Those five years I served, uh -huh. I still thank God for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talking about uh, ministers, yeah. we have seen the parliament of the day give green light to at least 19 of the nominees from... Uh, President Ruto, yeah. save for Stella Soy, who had been yeah. nominated for the gender docket. Yeah. But then again, from my end, somewhat, I think that the Parliament of the Day has grown to be the, uh, the biggest laundry machine. And why mm. am I saying so? Most Gen Zs did find many of the nominees not to be deserving of the dockets they were nominated for. But yeah. from your end, do you yeah. feel that the Parliament of the Day has been captured by the appointing authority? Entirely so, because <laughs> um, uh, part of the reason, when you look at the questions they ask, <laughs> some of them are totally irrelevant. Mm -hmm. It cannot test somebody's competence mm -hmm. or capacity to perform in the ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the questions are totally irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Even this question of declaring your wealth, mm -hmm. what ascertains that? What kind of confirmation mm -hmm. do you have that if I was to tell you I'm worth 20 million, mm -hmm. is that true? The answer may be yes or maybe no. Uh, if I come and I say, oh, I'm worth 500 million, Perhaps I may be worth 50 million, but I want the 450 that in the next five years, I close up the gap so that by the end of the period, I say, okay, now I'm worth about 503 million. Mm -hmm. And I will look so good a person. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, of the matter is that it is not really a relevant question. Mm -hmm. uh, and I could see, like um, my good sister, mm -hmm. Alice Waome, struggling to remember our worth mm -hmm. then and our worth now. So I said... Uh, now, it is almost a, a demonstration that mm -hmm. if you are struggling to remember what you are worth, uh, then there is a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even if I have two or three vehicles, I remember their number plates. Mm -hmm. So if you do, you do not remember what you are worth, I have not even calculated mine because I am not uh, preparing to be a minister. <laughs> but I can roughly say tell you mm -hmm. that I am worth this and I can roughly also tell you mm -hmm. uh, I was worth this in the last five years. Because at times the declaration is not that it has to be incremental. Mm -hmm. At times you lose some assets mm -hmm. because of economic times. You start cannibalizing your own capital in any assets mm -hmm. and uh, eating into your capital. Mm -hmm. So some of these issues are totally irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And then number two, uh, the laundry, yes, it is a big laundry mm -hmm. with just one wash. Because uh, parliament today is just an appendix of the executive. It is for the president to tell them, 
Perhaps even Stella Soy may not have been rejected on the basis of lack of competence. Really? Possibly the president changed his mind and he said, okay, mtoi. This is what happens even in some neighboring countries. I met somebody, mm -hmm. I was flying from uh, Entebbe to Nairobi on mm -hmm. my way to Addis Ababa when I was a special envoy. And um, we sat with somebody, who, well, he knew I was a former, um, I was a former minister then, mm -hmm. as I am today. And uh, he, he showed me a letter that, you see, the president has written to me this letter, but I'm not going to take up the appointment. Why? He says, I'm a businessman, and what he does, I've not told you the country, uh, what, what he does, he gives you appointment, and once you've, he's given you appointment, he has fulfilled what you, you had told him during the campaign, that, okay, I'm giving you this, uh, in return, you give me a position when you win. Okay, so how does he want to deal with you? He says he will make you mince meat in, in, before the parliamentary committee. And the parliamentary committee will report uh, <laughs> nil performance or negative performance. A long con? Yeah, a big con. <laughs> you know, politics in Africa is about conmanship. So for Stella, so could she be a sacrificial lamb just to, to launder the system? It's unfair. It is unfair. <laughs> you remember even the other time... <laughs> And even watch this face, mm -hmm. she may be cleansed further in parliament. Really? Yeah. See, this one is from the report from the yeah, committee. Yeah, sure. So, are, are they going to parliament? Not yet. Not yet. It will be, she will be cleansed in parliament. Remember Malombe? Mm -hmm. What was the name? Was it um, the, the, the lady who was also in East Africa? Penina Malonza. Penina Malonza. Mm -hmm. She was cleaned in parliament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, second wash. But the president promised to listen to the grievances of the Gen Z, and one of them was not to bring back the same people who people had trust issues with them. But looking at the president now nominating the same, uh, at least an, a, a huge chunk of them, the committee approving most of them, do you think this is an insult before the eyes of the Gen Z? And could the president be funny in the fire, especially now at the time when, whereby we are looking at the upcoming Naninane protests? Well, I find the president in mm -hmm. a catch-22 situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of which, uh, even if it were me, I would have retained some of those individuals, mm -hmm. but of course given them appropriate dockets. I'm happy at least uh, when uh, uh, Barret Duale mm -hmm. came back, initially was taken to defense, but later on, I think for some information that the president must, must have gotten, that there was a bit of celebration in some quarters, when Duale was, uh, was, was, was removed, mm -hmm. he changed his mind. Uh, I thought that was a very wise decision. And uh, of course, th there was the issue of uh, Kipchumba Murkomen. Uh, I did not mind him being uh, returned to the cabinet, mm -hmm. but it was really smacking on the face of the youth, taking him to that particular docket, that you rejected him, I'm bringing him back in areas, and I'm giving him the department under which you will be operating. Remember Kipchumba Murkomen, apart from his other display of laggies and opulence, he had already demonstrated bad manners by telling somebody, we don't give jobs here. Uh, you remember the t-shirt yeah. that was saying, atupeane kazi hapa tunapeana mawe na kinyezi ya punda. So some of these things, mm -hmm. we, we must be sensitive. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying the president is wrong, he needs to retain that team, mm -hmm. uh, but he should have also uh, done a bit of twitching here and there mm -hmm. to ensure that the youth don't feel insulted. Uh -huh. I would not have minded uh, a young person like uh, Muraidi, mm -hmm. uh, the guy who is worth about is it 30 million or 20, uh, going to the Department of Youth, because he himself is a youth, he's about 32 years. Because you see, at the level of the minister, and this is something I want Kenyans to understand, at the level of minister, you have enough technical people. You are supposed to provide the leadership. Mm -hmm. So, despite the fact that, that this young man is an engineer, engineer is a process that really deserves logic and processes mm -hmm. and systems. Mm -hmm. And you just need to put that template in the leadership environment. Mm -hmm. So, at the level of minister, you don't have to be a specialist in that particular department. You are supposed to put together all the instruments required, all the human resource component, all the systems that are required, then you allow the machine to roll. Uh -huh. That is basically leadership sure. problem. And it's the same problem, Richard, about mm -hmm. Africa. 
Africa does not lack resources. It has the best rains in the world. Africa could feed the rest of the world mm -hmm. if we were to mobilize resources in terms of farming. Africa has the most precious minerals in the entire world. DRC alone can feed Africa. Then the rest of Africa can feed the rest of the world. Without reliance on donor support? Without relying on any individual. Because you see, by the rule of the thumb mm -hmm. is that for every one dollar that gets to Africa, seven dollars fly out. This therefore means every year we have a net of six dollars per unit time flying out of the continent. This is something documented. Mm -hmm. It is not figment of my imagination. Mm -hmm. This is something properly documented. Mm -hmm. Africa is a net exporter of resources. So let's bring the conversation closer home. As a country, Kenya, are we the author of our own misfortunes, more particularly in the, in the leadership arena? Indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed, because leaders don't seem to separate what belongs to them mm -hmm. and what belongs to the public space. Mm -hmm. In our traditional society, mm -hmm. as, as a Nandi, we used to have a store that when you have a good harvest, you get from the village all the grains. By then it was, of course, either millet or finger millet. You get all the grains in small quantities. Possibly could have been the, akin to what we call korogoro, two kilos. Then you put in a, in a you build a big store mm -hmm. and you put all the grains there such that in periods of adversity, mm -hmm. you would check and you'll deal with the vulnerable of society, uh, pregnant uh, ladies of those who have delivered, mm -hmm. elderly people uh, like myself, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and of course uh, people who are seen not to be properly resourced as a way of mitigating so that nobody dies of hunger. Mm -hmm. Contingency measures. Contingency measures. Uh -huh. And that store uh -huh. was again to the stores in National Cereals and Produce Board. Mm -hmm. And every year you hear there is a scandal. A scandal because as you are, you, you are, you are waiting, uh -huh. somebody goes to the store. The strategic reserve. It's a strategic reserve. Uh -huh. But those days you would be cast alive and you will not last a day. Because, you know, we had all these people in society. We had blacksmiths. Uh -huh. We had um, um, the, the Libons. And also we had some people who were very good singers. Mm -hmm. They were soloists almost in every function. Mm -hmm. Then we had also people, mm -hmm. if you make a mistake in the morning and he comes and you gather, mm -hmm. then he, they open a space mm -hmm. and he passes in the middle and he throws a very, 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 very dry stick. Mm -hmm. By three o'clock you'll be gone. <laughs> Six feet under? Under. Zayu ni umesafiri? Umeenda mapema. Mambo ni matatu. Ata, a, ni mawili sasa. <laughs> Let's advance that conversation about the need for our state officers to be patriots at heart. Yes. And inscribed in our national anthem is yeah. the clarion call for yeah. plenty to be found within our borders. Our borders yeah. But just many others, just like you are at some point a state officer serving yeah. the capacity of a minister, yeah. would you say that for most of them, they get into this office not for plenty to be found within our borders, but within their stomach? Within their pockets. <laughs> within our pocket uh -huh. and by extension stomach because if I have money in the pocket because by then the phone and uh, mm -hmm. mobile banking had not arrived mm -hmm. yeah so that mm -hmm. is the irony that we have mm -hmm. that uh, even Raya because you see we are blaming leaders mm -hmm. but even Raya mm -hmm. Raya the people of Kenya mm -hmm. if you are in an office for five years mm -hmm. you know I was in a social place mm -hmm. and uh, uh, some some people saw me with some young people talking they say this guy did not take care of himself uh, when he was minister. He would not be here. Now, they are there themselves. And they don't want me to be there because they think it is a lowly class. Uh -huh. But I was with young people like you. Uh -huh. Then I, I realized that uh -huh. that's a problem. Uh -huh. And the problem does not lie with the leaders themselves. Uh -huh. Society expects us, once you get into an office uh -huh. of opportunity, uh -huh. call opportunity in quotes. Uh -huh. After five years, they expect you to be displaying a lot of luggage. Mm -hmm. That's why Wakina Murkomen and others mm -hmm. wanted to prove that they have arrived. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they got it <laughs> the wrong way. Uh -huh. yeah. Talking of matters to do with the need for custodians of public resources to act in the best interest of the citizens, yes. in as far as the president's nomination, uh, nominees to CS positions is concerned, yeah. would you say that he harnessed the, pot the potential or the power of public mood in, 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 in informing his choice? It was, it was a bag of mixed fortunes. Mm -hmm. Some of the individuals there 
really are good people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have no reason to cast aspersion mm -hmm. on their integrity, their capacity, or their character. Mm -hmm. But some of the individuals, you could see from the beginning mm -hmm. that they, this is no go zone. Mm -hmm. uh, they are, they, they, you know, they have already failed before even they get into the office. Mm -hmm. But more important, uh, Richard, is that I'm praying this time mm -hmm. the president will reflect mm -hmm. on what are the issues that failed him. Mm -hmm. Because he has admitted there was failure. What are the issues that failed him mm -hmm. within two years? Mm -hmm of his administration. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons is that he never allowed them to, to bond with mm -hmm. the officers mm -hmm. because he literally ran all the ministries. So he should pull back, uh, retain some presence, but from afar. Mm -hmm. uh, because it is not conceivable that uh, an individual will understand all the issues in the ministry. Even when I was an MP, let alone a minister, mm -hmm. Uh, when I was an MP, I never pretended I knew the constituency better than the people who live there. If I was to inquire something about a certain village, mm -hmm. I would use somebody closer to that village, or I go to the village myself, and mm -hmm. people would tell me what are the issues afflicting them. Mm -hmm. When I was minister, I had initially 42 parastatos. Later on, when the Ministry of Livestock and Fisheries Development was created, mm -hmm. my parastatos were reduced from 42 to 26. And I could not pretend that I know everything going on in those parastatos. From time to time, I used to call uh, parastatos, whether they are those in charge of research, mm -hmm. uh, those in charge of uh, production, mm -hmm. those in charge of regulatory services. At times, I call all of them, mm -hmm. and we discuss in-house, mm -hmm. so that I learn what is going on in various institutions. Sure. And I also allow them to be able to be integrating uh, vertically, mm -hmm. you know, not horizontally. Mm -hmm. So that at the end of the day, somebody in T Research Foundation must know what is going on in Limuru, in, not Limuru, in um, uh, Ruiru uh, Coffee Research Foundation. Mm -hmm. We should know also what is going on in Katumani mm -hmm. about maize. Uh, somebody should know also what is going on in Ilri about livestock, mm -hmm. uh, or even Kari, or now they call it Calro, mm -hmm. which is livestock and uh, agricultural research. So all these things are important mm -hmm. so that we have shared knowledge, mm -hmm. we have shared vision, and also we have shared frustrations, mm -hmm. and we know what are the threats mm -hmm. afflicting the sectors mm -hmm. that we are presiding over. Mm -hmm. So it is important also for the president to realize that, um, you see, take for example Dr. Karanja, mm -hmm. uh, who has taken my former ministry. This is somebody who started at the base as an officer, did BSc Agriculture, then he went for, I think, Agricultural Economics at Master's level, then he went to something in, in his PhD. Such a person, given space and given the team that he, he operates with, should be able to give us the best out of the ministry. But the danger also, people like that, they get so narrow as not to understand that there is something important about another department that is not involved. For example, in agriculture, you will have those who are dealing with livestock, mm -hmm. fisheries, mm -hmm. and I realize he dealt with livestock at some stage. Mm -hmm. As an extension officer, he was dealing with the broad-based issues. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing, again, is leadership. I, I, I'm just telling now, uh, Dr. Dr. Karanja, Karanja. Mm -hmm. that we used to have a meeting of the Big Five every Tuesday, mm -hmm. where I was there as a chair mm -hmm. and the minister. Mm -hmm. I was there with uh, Charlo Kaindi as my assistant minister. Uh, Gembe Gitura as my assistant minister, then director of agriculture mm -hmm. and PS agriculture. Every Tuesday, mm -hmm. we share who is going for this trip. The who big is going five. To the big five. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see, uh -huh. so that even when I'm out of the country, mm -hmm. I know the ministry is running. Seamlessly so. Yeah, seamlessly so. Uh -huh. And uh, I, you, they don't have to wait for me mm -hmm. to, sign a to sign off a question. Uh -huh that this is a question we are going to answer. We share. Mm -hmm. And if it is Mwishimua Kaindi going to answer that particular question, mm -hmm. it deals with the officers. I don't have to know. Mm -hmm. I just come and sign what he has told me it is good mm -hmm. for the information that mm -hmm. needs to get to the public domain. So by and large, you are signaling the need for custodians of public resources to yes. check on in information asymmetry. Yes. Which brings me to this point. During the vetting of uh, CS nominee for S SMEs, cooperatives, 
that is uh, weekly for Paranya, we saw state agencies that yeah. are granted the power to look into graft issues, DCI, yeah. ESCC, read from different scripts over the graft allegations uh, leveled against uh, the former governor. Yeah. What does this make you feel with regards to our fight against graft in this country? State agencies reading from different scripts when it comes to corruption matters. And also it's a reflection of our society. We don't seem to look at corruption negatively. Mm -hmm. We seem to like corruption as long as it's one of our own mm -hmm. who is corruptly involved. Mm -hmm. Number two, you see there is a legal component mm -hmm. uh, of presumption of guilt, mm -hmm. of innocence until you are proven guilt. But there is also the other thing, the integrity component. Mm -hmm. That yes, if my name has been mentioned, that when I came here last time, uh, some telephone sets disappeared and uh, you are still investigating who took them away mm -hmm. I, I should be hesitant to come here mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. I know that issue has been sorted out and have been mm -hmm. sufficiently exonerated mm -hmm. this is something that is important mm -hmm. you remember in some countries mm -hmm. uh, a train gets into a crash and the minister in charge of transport and communication commits suicide because they feel Morally, the wrong thing has happened. Mm -hmm. They were not involved. Mm -hmm. They were not uh, captains of the train, mm -hmm. but they feel I'm part of the team responsible for this mayhem that has visited our country. Mm -hmm. When shall we have that courage? Mm -hmm. And we are not saying they are condemned. Once you are exonerated, fine. Mm -hmm. Remember the issue of Anglo leasing. Mm -hmm. The Honorable Kraito resigned. The Honorable Miraria resigned. Subsequent to that, when they were exonerated, the Honorable Kiraitu came back and he was given a position of a minister. When are we going to learn to say, if your name is mentioned adversely, mm -hmm. we deal with the issue first. Mm -hmm. Then you can wait mm -hmm. to be given another position in future. Mm -hmm. There are many people from Kakamega. Mm -hmm. I'm told even this girl, I thought she's from Transoya, mm -hmm. uh, Barasa Molongo, no. comes from uh, Kakamega, from Likuyani. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Already Kakamega had a minister if that was their consideration. Mm -hmm. They could have gotten somebody from Transoya mm -hmm. or even from Turkana. Mm -hmm. Of course, Turkana eventually got uh, mm -hmm. this girl, mm -hmm. uh, Beatrice Moe, mm -hmm. a very strong lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I can vote for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not because she's a lady. Even Soipan, I vote for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not because I know her, but I knew the father. Mm -hmm. The father was a colleague of mine, mm -hmm. Samson Oletuya. And not because you have a farm in Kajiado. No, 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 no. <laughs> But she's from uh, Narok. Oh, in Narok, by yeah, extension. Yeah, she's from Narok. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, it's Ryan who should be telling us. All right, yeah. very well. <laughs> yeah. So, so let me ask you this, very lastly. Yeah. Now, we are having these nominees being given the green light by the, pub, uh, the, the committee in parliament. Yeah. Likely, the, the, the entire house is now going to endorse them into those positions. Yeah. Going into the future, do you see a scenario playing out whereby we shall have the old guards away a new breed of leaders being nurtured by the then president. Do we, uh, are we likely to be that committed as a country? I think it should be a natural uh, mm -hmm. process where there is no more natural attrition. Mm -hmm. You deal with a new team mm -hmm. and a blend of the old mm -hmm. because it is a continuing business mm -hmm. called the government. Mm -hmm. But we feel as we go to the future, mm -hmm. we infuse more of the young people mm -hmm. so that also the future is guaranteed mm -hmm. of some continuity. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you make all of us who are above 60 ministers mm -hmm. and uh, after five years mm -hmm. we retire or we are dealt with by some other processes, mm -hmm. then you are leaving a country without uh, the, the normal transition. Mm -hmm. Because even in a company there is what we call a session plan. Mm -hmm. As you have some managers at the top, there must be those ones in middle stage mm -hmm. and those who are nurturing at the bottom mm -hmm. and even those who are training what we call management trainees. Mm -hmm. So even a government must have all the blend of all those people. Uh -huh. But most important thing mm -hmm. is that when are we going to do our social engineering? Mm -hmm. We must do social engineering mm -hmm. so that the public is informed sufficiently mm -hmm. that to get into a public office is a privilege to serve. Mm -hmm. It is not a right to partake of public resources. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lastly, uh, as a politician that you are, yeah. Why do we find most politicians being quick to take this as a scapegoat whereby when you're involved in graft or accused of any, we, we, are, we are quick to label it as political witch hunt? Why is it the case? 
is because we have not matured enough. Mm -hmm. We still got what we call political bad manners. Mm -hmm. You remember from the previous regime of Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. uh, some of the cases were dropped, almost all of them, mm -hmm. invariably. And the uh, uh, director of public prosecution said he was uh, coerced into dropping them, into, into taking those people to uh, preferring cases against them. Mm -hmm. Now, how sure are we he has not been coerced to deal with it the other way around? Re you remember? Mm -hmm. The person was in, I don't know, I hope he still he has left that place at KRA, was outlawed by a court of law the other day because he had a case with KRA involving billions of shillings. Sure. Yep. Very well. Well, that point by former minister Kipito Arab Kiro takes us to the wrap of today's conversation. We've discussed a raft of issues in the world of politics and governance, touching more particularly on our new CS nominees and also what the future holds for President Ruto in the leadership arena. Time now for this insightful segment that is Heroes Corner with Kipruto Arab Kiro. Minister, whom do we have today on the segment? Well, the person of the day is uh, the late Samora Moise Machel. Oh. Yeah, the, uh -huh. the president of Mozambique. Mm -hmm. A man of high credentials, mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. who, in my own estimate, was a really is somebody who believed in the struggle. Uh, he is the one who liberated Mozambique, and unfortunately, he died in 1986. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as he was coming back from South Africa on a trip mm -hmm. that he had gone to negotiate uh, for certain considerations to be done. Mm -hmm. I feel that he fits the bill because he went into the military as a nurse, mm -hmm. uh, dealt with the struggle, uh, initially dealing with those casualties of the war, mm -hmm. and eventually he became the leader within the ranks of the military uh, front. And as the president of Mozambique, he, he, he list amassed in a wealth for himself. He believed the struggle still continued. And of course, he used to say in Portuguese, Aluta Continua. Mm -hmm. That was his clarion call. Mm -hmm. And he used to demonstrate to the people of Mozambique mm -hmm. that Aluta Continua because there were many things undone, including re-engineering the social dynamics of Mozambique, for people to realize, yes, independence has come, but there is still a serious struggle to limit ourselves from the excesses of power, limit ourselves from partaking in the resources of state, mm -hmm. limit ourselves in thinking of yourself at the exclusion of others, limiting yourself at the feeling that now that you are in a position of leadership, the rest don't matter. Mm -hmm. Those are the issues that he used to deal with. Unfortunately, that crash ended his life, 1986. Very unfortunate. There you have it. The man, the legend, the myth, Samora Marshall. Yeah. That takes us to the wrap of today's show. Thank you so much for tuning in, Heshmiwa. Thank you for slating time for this. It's my pleasure always. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I feel <clears throat> every afternoon mm -hmm. after I talk to you mm -hmm. and we share this space, mm -hmm. I feel relieved because I mm -hmm. think I'm still you know, doing what you call nation building. Uh -huh. Yeah, because nation building mm -hmm. is higher than just building the nation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nation building is creating that space called Kenya uh -huh. where everybody feels he owes to the next person uh -huh. a certain respect uh -huh. that is irreducible. Uh -huh. yeah. Very well. People are saying that you paid such uh, an emotional homage to former President Mwai Kibaki that it was so dear to your heart. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Because Kibaki, there are many things uh -huh. uh, that uh, Mzee Kibaki did. Uh -huh. One of the things he told us that if you want to do something in December, you don't have to announce from August what you're going to do. Tell us what you are doing now. Mm -hmm. And that is something that uh, I respect with him. Mm -hmm. And any time that he, for, he, you, you arrived in a meeting, whether it's with Njenga Karume mm -hmm. or Matu Amai, mm -hmm. you'll change from Kikuyu to English or Kiswahili, whichever language you can follow. Mm -hmm. That was a patriot. Mm -hmm. People don't actually understand 
-hmm. To be patriotic, you must deny yourself certain conveniences. Mm -hmm. I like talking in vernacular. Mm -hmm. But when you arrive, <clears throat> I should deal with you mm -hmm. in a way that you also feel comfortable in our conversation. Sure. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing.